Hey guys, Collector Edwin here. We are on our Pokemon route. That we are. We are uh, doing the rounds because we're looking for cards and we're in an undisclosed location. I don't know about you guys, but we've been doing this for months at this point. Um, just trying to find cards. I mean, all the stores have been totally, you know, totally barren. barren. So we, we've just been trying to to we've, find whatever we can, wherever we can. We've been just looking for a Rebel Clash here. You know, a rebel clash today. Guardians there. rising there. <laughs> Guardians <laughs> rising there. We would even settle for Steam Siege we at would. this point. I don't think I'd be opposed to it. I just want a card. You know, I just want to remember what the foil feels like in my hands. So, we are making the rounds today, and you're going to come with us. We're going to do the ultimate test. Best Buy, GameStop, or Target. They're all right next to each other. Which has the best cards? Which has cards? Yeah, who has the best cards really just comes down to who has cards who has at cards? this point. Are you guys doing this too, or are we the crazy ones? I so. mean, we can't be that crazy. They're out of stock everywhere. <laughs> yeah, this isn't get. This isn't happening from like yeah. the the you know mom taking hers. Yeah, kid kid. To, to the store. The kids. Like, I don't see any kids with like a full cart of Champions Path Elite Trainer boxes. You know. Yeah, <laughs> this is true. This is what they call the scalpers. I wonder right, where that term originated. Control. Scalpers. Scalpers. Yeah. Probably from people who took other people's scalps. Don't you think? And then sold them for higher prices. <laughs> That is some thought right there. I'm just excited to, to take you guys on the journey, you know? I mean, for us, like, we spent a lot of time doing this, so if you like this style, let us know, you know? We're happy to do more of these kinds of things. We really are. So so put your seatbelt back on. Um, <laughs> click it or ticket. Click it right. or ticket. We'll see you soon at the store. And uh, yeah, I mean, you're not even gonna notice a stop. Okay, so what do we find in GameStop? GameStop was actually not a bust. We didn't find anything, but we did get a good contact. She told us to call back every day at 2 p.m. and she would let us know if they had anything in, so. So, th so that's a lead, okay? That's a lead, that's in our line of work. All right, that's what that is. And, and listen, okay, not where we have our list of people we call every day, uh, and then maybe one day they'll get back to us. They'll say, hey, yeah, we actually just got this Hidden Fates tip. Hey. We actually just got this Champion's Path tin, or, or hey, we just got this first edition base set Charizard PSA 10. Yeah, and we'll say thanks so much and we'll drive on over. All right, now we're going to Best Buy. I'm, I, I'm, I'm feeling good about I'm it. We're going to find yeah. something here to open. Nothing. All right, but you know, you always got to look around. So we're just going to check a few sections, uh, see what we can do. You know, but um, no, it's not looking. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, folks. This one's for you guys back home the Pikachu and Zekrom GX League Battle Deck. So feel free to use that code card. So it's actually, there's a, a few places we haven't looked yet. So we're gonna just look right now. All right, it's not behind the headphones. Sometimes they put them inside the VR sets. No, nope, no packs there. If the lights all turn the same color at the same time, usually a Pokemon card will pop out of this. Sometimes they put them inside the home security systems. You in there? I hope this comes out. This doesn't come off. <laughs> hey, Google. Nothing. We went to GameStop. We went to Best Buy. We went, we went to, a, we went to a Target. Got nothing for you. We got nothing for you. We don't have anything to open. You know, small channels like ours need this to stay alive, and yet all the big boys take it. Take all the Pokemon cards away they're from us. They're just going in there, they're getting 10 cha Champions Path Elite Trainer boxes. They're pulling all this, all the packs off the racks, you know. What do we, what, what do they leave for us, huh? Scraps, a code card? Yeah, we got a code card. <laughs> you guys got a code card. We don't know how to use the code cards, so. <laughs> yeah. Listen, we're, we're disappointed, but we're still determined. We have one more place we're gonna go, and you're gonna come with us. And we're not telling you where we're gonna be. And please just pause it for five minutes to simulate the suspense. It's gonna be good. What's up, guys? We got the goods. So where did we go? You just were here. You paused for five minutes, didn't you? We went to gameplay. Game play. It's a nice little local store. <laughs> Brad is dodging traffic right now. Hold on, let's look at him. Comment below if you think he's gonna get hit by a car. All right. 
We did get beeped at. All right, we got some really cool stuff, guys. These days, like, I know local game stores are kind of, they're hiking up the prices, but you got to support them. I mean, they actually have product. You know, we went to, you know how many freaking targets we've been to and how many game stops, how many best buys we've been to that don't have anything. Nothing. Yeah, I mean, it just, it just feels good to be able to go somewhere and see that they actually have some selection, some cool stuff going on. Even if it is more expensive, just don't go as often. Another cool thing about the local game stores is they do have single cards. So we took a look through some of their singles boxes and we ended up uh, finding this. I mean, it's, it's pretty beat up, so brace yourself, but it's, it's an Espeon card from the black and white series. So, um, so this one's, this one's super cool. So, I mean, this isn't the kind of thing you would be able to pick up in a, in a target unless somebody left it under the rafters accidentally, but Anyways, yeah, I mean, obviously you can tell it's beat up, but it was 10 cents. So Nick and I, you know, we just kind of- We split it halfway. I paid an extra cent. He'll get me back. Yeah, later. I'll get him back next time. Yeah. You know, I think what we have to do is we have to do another little old fashioned pack battle. Because guess what? All right? There are no alliterations here. Okay? And, and Fates Collide is the superior set. But there's really cool stuff coming out of both of these sets. So they had break cards at the time. I mean, we haven't really pulled a break card from any non like, you know, evolution set. So, yeah. I mean, it'll be cool to, to see if we can get a break card. I'm pretty sure Fates Collide has a Lugia break, which would be really cool to get. That Lugia is one of the OGs. All right, another pack right. battle, Breakpoint versus Fates Collide. We're only determining this with three packs, but trust me, our results will be final. If, if this is anything like my first Fates Collide pack opening, then this will be good because in my first ever Fates Collide pack, it was like one of the collection boxes that just had one Fates Collide pack in it. Got the Secret Rare Alakazam. So, you know, we're looking to repeat that here. Yeah, no energy. All right, listen, this is a break point, but this is gonna be my first pack. And you know what? It's probably gonna also, it, sorry for the lower resolution where, as you can see, we're in a car, but it's probably gonna be um, the last pack I need to open because there's gonna be something so good in here. Breakpoint. I don't even really know what the EXs are, but the full arts look really cool from this set, I'm pretty sure. I'm really taking my time here. What do we got? Alright. Are we in the reverse yet? Chikorita. Oh, wait, he's kind of looking into a pond. I don't know. Oh, that's the reverse. Aromatisse, I think that's called. And? A Hypno. A Hypno non hollow. But I do like the artwork of that. Honestly, Hypno is pretty cool. If also, you guys saw our last video, we, we saw the uh, vintage Hypno from Aquapolis. It's like a very cool style. Yeah. I like that. Hypno is kind of a creepy one, if you ask me. It's very... We got a Whimsicott. A Zygarde. Wow. Wait, is this is this going to be backwards on the screen? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we have to hold it up to a mirror. All right, guys, testing your reading comprehension on mirrored oh, words. Ooh, right. Meowth, that's white. All right, we got a, I don't know what that one is. Go, Gofita, maybe? A Deerling. This one just started appearing in the Pokemon Go League. All right, and a Mr. Mime. Not hollow? Non hollow. So far we are- Tied. Tied. For go. first and for last. So. And we're losing daylight fast, so. Yeah, we're losing daylight. We gotta get these packs open. And there's an ambulance coming. Oh, God. This ambulance. is a very interactive episode, guys. All right, let's see. Let's see what we got. Just in general, like, try to support your local game store if you can, you know? Um, but yeah. And let's you know, this is, this is gonna be, the thing is, I'm really only doing this, not so you guys can read it or appreciate the art, but just so that I'm surprised with you, because otherwise, what's the point? <laughs> if you're not surprised, then you shouldn't be open in the cards. All right, what do we got here? Ooh, a Greninja Reverse Hollow, and... That's cool. What do we got? Oh, a Hollow. Hollow Garbador. Right. That's a Trubbish card. That was, what is it, what was it? Terrible Trubbish? Terrible Trubbish right there. All right, I think this is probably the better way to do it. I only have one more packed open, and so far it's not looking good. Yeah, let's see, let's see. All right, oh, they, have, they keep doing this with the energy, special energy, strong energy, because we got the aromatic energy. And oh, that was a, quite the highlight of our last video. Yeah, that was a pretty cool one. Oh! Oh, shoot! I just skipped a bunch of cards, but <laughs> Cottony, Riolu, and what do we got here? An Amistar break. Nick, I just traded you Amistar in Pokemon Go. You did! There we go, folks. Wow, that's a cool looking card. That is very cool. I like how- I know 
brakes kind of missed with some people. People didn't like the brakes, but this this is pretty cool. It's I like the, like the horizontal. I think it's kind of neat. Yeah, it's, it's neat. I think it, it was like, you know, it was a warranted, you know, deviation from the typical Pokemon thing. But we also got a Rotom, but obviously the highlight so far, I won this round. Uh, Fates Clyde, bring Once it home. Once again, you can't say that because we have still have one more pack to go. All right. And we're not quitting until we need to you know i don't know man it's definitely uh what do we got what do we got what do we got definitely gonna be interesting what do we got oh drapion love that guy on followed by a non-hollow meow stick why do i you know, I get the ones. I've been losing these pack battles, like, left and right here. So basically, I think we tie worst case, right? Oh, no, no. No, I worst win. case. <laughs> I've already won, this. folks. Yeah, yeah. I've already won, folks. All right. All right. What even is that? Energy pouch. Wow. Interesting. I was trying to play the underdog, but it just wasn't meant to be. Yeah. That's why he wanted fates, or that's why he wanted breakpoint. He just, you know, didn't have it. All right, let's see. A boom. A boom. A bronzong. Oh! Shoot! And an Alakazam EX. Shoot! Oh, it's a Mega Alakazam EX. Oh my god! Okay! What? <laughs> awesome. That's so cool. All right, guys. Well, hey, we went, we support a local game store. We did not support GameStop, Target, or Best Buy. Who's the real winner here? You tell us in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> it was me, but also the LGS one. So, you know, we're happy for that. Yeah. The LGS? Local game store. Uh, yeah, guys. Thanks for joining us on this uh, kind of a uh, rogue video. Uh, we'll see you, see you real soon in the studio. So Thanks, guys.